Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. So once a month I like to do a market analysis. This is not going to be anything about investing or any major predictions or anything. I just like to have a look at uh, generally what trends certain items are taking. I want to have a look at some of the newer items as well as try to look at some of the causes as to why this is happening. Whether it be from updates or really anything else that might affect it. Anyway, I hope you enjoy and let's get started. So one question I get pretty frequently, especially over the last few months is, is the market crashing? Now, one extremely simple way to have a general look at the trend the market is taking is by going over to a GE Tracker and going to their market index. I like to have a quick look at that uh, once a month or something like that. So if we come over here to market watch and we go down to the market index list. So an index is just a bunch of different items, generally similar items, and it pretty much just tracks them based on a point system. Now these points are somewhat arbitrary, they don't really mean anything in themselves, but you can see the general trends day after day based on the points that are given. So for example, we can go to the market index, which is a bunch of different items. Uh, you can see the list here has stuff like the Abyssal Whip, Cannonball, Coal. It's trying to just be a general look at popular items, so we can have a look at which direction the market is taking. So if we go back to a year, let's have a quick look here. So at the beginning of March 2018, I suppose, the index was worth around 90. Uh, currently it's worth... Uh, almost 100. Now that has crashed down since around September-ish or the summertime. So to answer that question, I don't think this would really be so much as a market crash, it's more just a general correction. Now there could be a few different explanations. Some people think uh, it has to do with the Theater of Blood, which is one of the major PVM challenges released this year. Or generally in the summertime, there are a lot more players. If we have a look at some of the other indexes, it's kind of a similar story, not exactly the same. One that's been hit pretty heavily this year is the Raids Index. This is a combination of all of the different Chambers of Zarek items. So we have a look at the year, it started off at around 70 or something like that. And currently it's worth around 60. And that was over the last month or two. So Raids items in particular uh, have crashed quite a bit. So now we've had a quick look at a general overview of the market trend, but now let's have a look at some individual items. And this is where it gets a little interesting. Uh, so let's have a quick look at the bowstring, which I think is one of the worst offenders currently. Just this month alone, it went from 130 down to 62 at its lowest. Now that is an extremely severe drop. Now what a lot of people think this is due to is uh, there's actually a Twitch Prime promotion, which will give you a free month of membership if you have Twitch Prime. And what a lot of bot farms or just singular botters do is take advantage of that to... Uh, get a free month of membership, thus increasing the amount of bots in the game. Now, I'm not sure if they're operating off of stolen credit cards or anything like that. Something is going on here because that is a pretty severe drop. Now, overall, the price we're currently at is the lowest it's been at in the last year. Now, if we have a look at something like the Raw Shark, another pretty staple item, it went from 720 down to around 580 at its lowest point. While, yes, it's crashed quite a bit this month, if we look at the year view, it is around the same price that it was a year ago. It really looks like the price started to shoot up around June-ish which was uh, when the Theater of Blood was released. So I think there might be a pretty strong correlation uh, between Raw Sharks Rising and the Theater of Blood. Another pretty popular staple members items is something like Oak Planks, uh, which it does look like it is decreasing in price from 480 to well, 412. But again, it's still around the same price that it was uh, a year ago. It does seem like a lot of these items are following a pretty similar trend, not at the exact same time, but sometime around the Theater of Blood, or in this case, it seems to be more around the release of mobile. The economy was rising a lot, and now it is kind of correcting itself. So in the last market analysis video, I had a quick look at some of the uh, newer items that were released. Now this time I want to look at some of the existing items that uh, got chained with the Kebos Lowlands. So let's have a look at, let's say, the Dragon Sword, uh, which for the longest time was over a mil. Um, however, currently now it's worth around 100k and it's probably going to fall till it hits the Alk price most likely. The High Alchemy price for the Dragon Sword is around 43k. Uh, so yeah, more than likely it's going to crash down to that. For those who don't know, with the release of the Kebos Lowland, uh, the uh, Dragon Sword and the Dragon Harpoon, as well as the Dragon uh, Throne Axes, got moved to the uh, Konar Global Loot Table and away from Raids 1, which was a much more rare way to obtain them. So they are much more common and they don't actually have a lot of inherent uses on their own, or at the very least they are not worth that much. Dragon Harpoons obviously have a reason to use them. Dragon Throne Axes are used in PvP, however, uh, Dragon Swords aren't used that much. Except on my Slayer Only Ironman account, which I really want to get one on. Okay, so now let's have a look at the Dragon Harpoon, currently worth around 900k-ish. Now this one dropped severely. Right on January 8th was the release of the Kevus Lowland, I believe, and it went from 6 mil down to pretty much 2 mil right away, and now it's continued to crash down to 
900k. And that's not to say that the new method of obtaining it is common, it's not that common. It's still a 1 out of 2k drop from worms, and that is if you are on a Slayer task, however clearly it's much more common than uh, the Chambers of Zarek. I would expect the Dragon Harpoon to drop a bit more, but it still does have a use. It is still the best Harpoon to use, where the Dragon Sword really just doesn't have that much of a use. And the last item here is the Dragon Throne Axe, which was worth around 4k each, because again, you only got them from Raids 1, and they were used in PvP, and it's kind of a unique item in that way, in that it was actually a throne item, like an ammunition item. Now it's down to around 400 GP, so it's only worth around a tenth of what it was before. So like I said earlier, I had a look at the raids index, and while everything is crashing or correcting or whatever you want to call it, uh, the raids index did seem to be hit harder than the rest. So I'm going to have a quick look at some of the Chambers of Zarek items. So again, my best guess as to why these items are crashing is because of the Theater of Blood or even the Summertime, because it does seem to be following a very similar pattern to even some of the consumable items. Around June, it started raising up from around 60 mil all the way up to 85 mil in the summer. And sometime in October, it's just started to crash back down. Now it's currently around the same price that it was before all of the raids to hype. The Elder Mall especially has crashed quite a bit in the last month from 22 mil down to 16 mil. And that's a pretty significant drop over the month. I'm not really sure what has caused the Elder Mall specifically to drop that much again. I know the Elder Mall is used a lot uh, killing revenants, but I'm not really sure if anything has changed there. We have the Din's Bulwark, which over the course of the year has dropped pretty dramatically. So around the Theater of Blood time, uh, I guess it was not that useful, so it dropped all the way down to 10 mil and has continued to crash ever since. Now one very interesting item here is the Kodai's Wand. It is a Rage 1 item, but if we have a look at it, it has risen a lot. It was worth around 74 mil at the beginning of February, and just over the last week, it rose to 82 mil. Now the reason this has happened is actually due to that small quality of life change, the one that allows uh, your staff to remember the last autocast it was using. The reason this is important is for killing stuff like Zolra and apparently Ulm, it is now actually viable to use uh, the Kodai's Wand because it will remember your last cast, where before when you're swapping between your different gear setups, it was kind of not viable because you'd have to set the autocast again, which would take too much time and it just would not be worth it. But now it will remember it, making it a lot more usable and clearly making it more valuable. Killing Zolra with Fire Surge and a Tome of Fire apparently is actually quite good, or at least comparable to doing it with a Toxic Trident, and cheaper. So although the Kodai Wand has dropped dramatically over the course of the last year, maybe it will rise up more just because of that quality of life update. Next up here, I want to have a quick look at some of the big ticket items, so stuff like the Scythe of Viter, the Twisted Bow, uh, the Dragon Hunter Crossbow, and the new Dragon Hunter Lance. There are other expensive items out there, but these are the most commonly used PVM items. So we have the Scythe of Viter, so around October 10th of last year, it finally fell below the max cash amount. We can actually see the actual pricing trend. It has currently fell to around 1.4 bill, more or less. However, it does seem to be on the rise. We have the Twisted Bow, which actually, again, does seem to be on the rise. It does seem to have been triggered around January 8th, uh, which was the release of the Campus Lowland, which means it has been used pretty frequently in killing uh, the new Alchemical Hydra. We have the Dragon Hunter Crossbow, which has the most inconsistent item price of all time, pretty much. While the item has crashed, I mean, it's still extremely valuable. However, some people predicted it was going to go up more than this, and, but it wasn't actually as useful at killing the Alchemical Hydra as most people thought. We have the Dragon Hunter Lance, which is finally stabilized at around 100 mil. Again, this item has gone up and down a lot. It went from 100 mil down to the 80s, back up to over 100 mil, down to 80 again, and now it's around 100. Who knows what's going to happen there? And lastly, pair, I want to have a quick look at the price of bonds, currently worth around 3.6 mil. So one year ago today, they are worth around 2.5 mil, so it's actually worth a mil more than last February. And if I recall correctly, the general trend has been a bit upset this year uh, by mobile. Generally, the bond price would continue to be high all the way through till December, but actually it crashed in October with the release of mobile. However, unlike last year where it crashed down to uh, 2 to 2.5 mil, this year it didn't actually reach at such a low point. However, it stayed at 3mil for a long time. Based on the trend of last year and previous years, I would expect the price of bonds to be going up pretty consistently all the way till Christmas now, with some minor fluctuations, of course, all the time. Again, just my guess is not necessarily accurate. Anyway guys, that is pretty much it for the market analysis this month. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to start a discussion on any of these items, leave a comment down below. I'll be sure to answer you. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time.